Hey Exiles, how are we doing? It is Ms. 2 g back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, so we are going to do the limited time event, so the Ancient King event. Um, so we'll get underway, we'll get right into it. Now, I sort of cleared out the first part of the zone and then realised quickly that you have to get yourself some uh, materials before you can actually cross. So, um, with that being said, before you can actually get into the event, or get past beyond this point, you need to get a few things. So, we've already got them. So I'll pop that in, and I do have that over here. So we'll go ahead and pop that in. It should allow us access, fantastic, and we keep rolling through. So, basically, um, this is a different time event. Um, this is a two skull event as well. So this shouldn't be too difficult for pretty much most of us that are playing this. So hopefully you guys will find it quite easy as well. Um, from what I've been able to see, it has been a little bit on the um, uh, lengthy side. And now what I mean by that is you do have to run back and forth, get a few materials here and there. What you will find is a lot of these items are um, available around the area. So it depends on how you guys want to set it up. <coughs> I want to use this as a guide for the rest of you guys. So um, I did collect some resources beforehand. So um, just to sort of make the, um, the video a little bit shorter, I don't want to sort of overdo it. But what we're doing here is we're just going to um, get towards the, um, the next stage of the event, get into the crypt, I believe it is and you guys will be able to see exactly what needs to be done, what is required, everything else in between. So if you guys actually, I think you guys seem to enjoy the last video as well. So the um, the Adventures Quest, that was really cool. So um, a lot of positive feedback on that one there. So I do appreciate you guys with that. So I'm gonna continue with this, um, with this particular um, uh, quest. And hopefully you guys will get a little bit more info out of it and hopefully you find it um, helpful and also beneficial to you guys. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a bit of a guide through. Definitely take some of those hammers, take the scroll and hang on to them. So as you can see, um, there's a few barrels, chests, things like that, um, you know, lying about. You don't have to grab all these right away, guys. Definitely go ahead and do this in your own time. Um, it is a two, three day event I believe it is oh sorry a little burp there um, but yeah so I think it's a three-day event so you guys don't need to you know rush yourselves over and oh, nothing else to need to be found there and yeah so basically all that you guys need to do on this front is essentially uh, fill all these items here now I haven't got everything here so what we're gonna need to do is we're probably gonna have to run back grab a couple things Especially the uh, pine plank and the nails. So they're the two in the and the flax linen that I missed out on. So gonna have to find those somewhere. Now, unfortunately, they don't leave them in here or anything like that, which is a bit of a bummer and a pain. But look, is what it is. So we'll quickly dart back and we will find um, all the necessary items. All right, cool. All right, guys, and we're back. So what, hopefully I've got, I've got everything anyway. So we'll go ahead and we will check it out. Actually, I do need some logs, so I'll, we'll grab that anyway. That won't take us too long at all. And we've got all that there. I do have some rope, so we'll go, go ahead and grab some of that as well. So let's just do that. Oops, and pop that in so I know that it's done. And we should be able to find some wood with ease over here. Okay, so actually I think I might need some wood for myself as well. So I might just grab a few pieces here or there. Okay. So let me know what you guys think about the, the whole time sensitive events. Do you guys enjoy them so far? I mean, we've only been realistically through two. There is going to be another one over in the next few days um, from what I can remember. Let's just quickly have a look at the, the daily loot. Okay, so yeah, so day seven, there's going to be another time sens uh, sensitive quest. There's nothing here up until that day. So I think the, you know, the initial was you get the first two and then they sort of space them out. Whether or not they'll change it up, who knows? Um, but so far, this is what we've got to work with. But I'm hoping that uh, the 
the events are a lot more different um, and also more difficult with um, better loot. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so I think we should have enough here. Well, more than enough, so... I just need to get a little bit of wood for myself. There's just a couple of other things that I need for that, but we'll jump right over to our little boat. Pop that in and there we go. Okay, so this is gonna go take us into the cave. So in tranquility and we should have some enemies here for us to take out, so a few spiders shouldn't be much of a problem realistically as we said it's not a hard zone by any means or stretch but this will um, hopefully give you guys a better impression understanding of the zone itself and what is required for the uh, for the event so quite a few spiders actually shouldn't be too much of a problem okay so we've taken those out that one out too Oop swap over okay so we've got some walkers here usually they should just drop the bits and bobs too Oop, and we've got a goblin uh, golem sorry goblin I don't know why I said goblin okay oh okay so what have we got there sacred seal all right well let's take that assuming that's gonna be needed and warranted of course we'll open up this while we're at it And what do we get from this? Anything interesting? Eh, not much. We'll just leave that there for now. Take you out. And what else do we have over here? Oh, okay. So this looks like it's the main room. Just take out this walker. Oop. Okay. Oop. Don't miss. Hit. There we go. All right. And okay, oh okay, so you've actually got the, the same thing, so we're probably going to need that. So what I'll probably go in, end up doing is I'll get rid of some of these items for now and um, see what we need to complete this because we're going to need some keys, okay? So these are crypt keys, assuming that this would be what we need, okay. Alright, so we're going to need some clay. And also these guys here. Well, the clay's not going to be hard to come by because it's all, well, you know, it's throughout this zone. So I don't think we'll have any problems grabbing all of this. So we'll just start grabbing as we go along. Take out these spiders, of course. And take out this golem. And as we do, complete a quest in our stride, of course. Take out this guy. Oh, a few of you there. Okay, and all done. All right, so ah, another walker. So let's just take him out. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna grab all the necessary materials. So I'm assuming that walker there has the um, that that little totem. So we'll need that from him. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what's inside this box. Cool, couple of good things actually. So I'll have to come back for all of this. Yeah, perfect. Grab that and what else is there? Anyone else that I can take out? Nope, none at all. All right. So let's go ahead and fulfill everything and we'll um, load up on everything here. And okay, so back in the main room. So with this, gonna need some of that. Well, can't claim it just yet because unfortunately we do have a full inventory. Okay, so we'll try and finesse our way around with all of this as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill up what I can and we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna fill that up, that up, that up. So at least this way this sort of dissipates what I have in my inventory as well versus what I'll need over here. <clears throat> so let's just do that, take that and that and that and this will complete everything for us. Ok, 
Okay, so that and that. And we should have enough. I am missing one, so we'll have to run back out and find that other walker. So that won't be much of a problem at all anyway. So let's grab that and that. And I think, okay, I've completed all, all of that. All right, so we will try and put everything back that we do not need, just to uh, build up some more inventory space. And I think that's going to do us fine. Okay. All right, so let's go find that extra walker. He shouldn't be too far away. No, okay. So we'll suss him out over here, see if he's hiding. Should be only one left. And do, 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 do. where did you go? Ooh, okay, there we go. So this should be the last one, and he should give us that last little totem, take out this golem of course. So look, realistically guys, you, you might need to bring some things from home like I did as well. Um, but for the most part, you should be able to find everything <clears throat> that you have um, lying about in the zone. So I'd probably go ahead and say probably about 80% of everything should be found uh, within the zone, whether it's um, at the start or where we are now, depending on what is required of course. Won't need any of that, and we can finally just run over. So we'll claim on that. And we're also going to claim on that because I've already done that. And of course we'll grab you. And we will finally pop this over. So let's grab him and him. Perfect. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, open. Cool, so we've got the Purple Star uh, Leather Armor Pack. Look, it's not the best defensively, but in terms of, you know, um, one, if you get hit by an enemy, but look at it. The durability on it is unbelievable. Over 2,000 for each piece. Um, that's got nearly 2,500, 22, 22, 2050, 2080, so, yeah, you guys are not gonna have any problems using this for you know a little while. And whether it's not one of these investments that you wanna to make to essentially um, use your hammers just to repair the goods, it's up to you. I mean, they do take quite a bit of um, uh, hammers to actually repair, so up to you guys, unless if you just wanna uh, use them until they essentially break, then do just that. I'll probably go ahead and keep these anyway, just for safekeeping, of course. But otherwise, that is it. That is pretty much the um, the Ancient King Adventurer's Quest. Um, let me know what you think about this, guys. Yes, it is a new um, style of event. Not something that we are obviously accustomed to in the game, but also it brings a little bit more diversity to the game. So that's what I'm really happy about. And Excited that you know we have actually got something like this now, and it gives us a little bit more to do with the game. It's not just the um, uh, forever boring thing that we need to do. Um, you know whether it's gathering resources, gearing up for uh, clan events, things like that. So that's what I really like about this event. Um, but I want you to let me know what you guys think. So guys, if you enjoyed what you see today, let me know by hitting that like button. Comment down below, of course. If you guys are new and uh, new to the channel itself, make sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. But I'm just running around trying to find most of these herb seeds and fresh herbs, because um, why not? But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy, and catch you next time.